Sketch one cycle of the graph using amplitude, period, phase shift, and the five major points. You must identify the x-coordinate of each major point. A fair function is y equals negative sine of x over 3 minus pi over 2. So the first thing is to find the amplitude. And the amplitude is in front of our function. Take the absolute value of negative 1. So we get 1. Period is found by taking the original period of sine, which is 2 pi, and dividing it by whatever is in front of x, which in this case is a 1 divided by 3, so 1 third. Or we can rewrite this as multiplication of the reciprocal. So dividing by 1 third is the same as multiplying by 3, so this will be 6 pi. Here to find the phase shift, we're going to set the inside to 0 and then solve for x. So x over 3 is equal to pi over 2. So then x is equal to 3 pi over 2. Okay, so this is a positive number, so that means that we're moving to the right. So let me start by drawing my x-axis. And identify 3 pi over 2, wherever you want it to be. So since that's positive, my y-axis will be somewhere to the left. Okay, now I need to find the next coordinates. It's going to be four of them. So that means I'm going to take a quarter of the entire period and add it to 3 pi over 2. So going back to the period, a quarter of that, so in other words, a quarter of 6 pi, is coincidentally also 3 pi over 2. So the x-coordinates are going to start at 3 pi over 2 and then add 3 pi over 2 each time. So really just add 3 pi to the top because the bottom will stay at 2. So I get 6 pi over 2 and 9 pi over 2, 12 pi over 2, 15 pi over 2. So when I go to put that on my x-axis, just reduce as you go. So 6 pi over 2 is the same thing as 3 pi, 9 pi over 2, 12 pi over 2 is 6 pi, and then 15 pi over 2. So now I need to look at my y-coordinates. Since the amplitude is 1, that's going to be the highest value. Since we have a sine function, we're going to start with an x-intercept. But notice this time that it's a negative, so this is going to flip over the x-axis. So instead of going to a max, it's actually going to go to a min. And then an x-intercept, max, x-intercept. Okay, again the amplitude is 1, so the x-intercept is always 0, but now the min is negative 1, then 0, max is 1, then 0. Okay, so I need to mark out where 1 would be. Again, pi is about 3.14. So the first notch here is about 9 halves, which is 4.5. So this one little movement is like about 4.5. So 1 would be a quarter of that. Vertically. So at 3 pi over 2, we get 0. And then go down. And then back up. Back up. Down. 